The Juncker Plan for Investment in Europe Europe needs investment to create more jobs, to help Europe become more competitive, to strengthen our single market and to support our small businesses. The European Commission and the European Investment Bank are teaming up to support strategic investments worth at least 315 billion euros. This is the European Fund for Strategic Investment, the EFSI. Nine member states have already pledged co-financing. This money is targeted to projects that may find it difficult to secure finance in the market such as innovative projects that may need some risk coverage. 75% of this investment capital is designated for infrastructure and strategic projects such as transport and telecommunications, energy efficiency initiatives, education infrastructure, healthcare facilities and so on. Projects in this category should require capital in excess of 25 million euros and apply directly to the EIB. But the EFSI is not just about large projects. At least a quarter of this fund will be available to SMEs and mid-caps through financial intermediaries such as banks or venture capital funds. The EFSI is already working to provide funding to several projects across Europe, like the construction and operation of a new bioproduct mill in Arnakoski, Finland with the capacity to produce 1.3 million tonnes of renewable fibre, or pulp, per year. Or in Denmark, where we are funding energy-related projects with a focus on offshore wind, biomass and transmission. Or in 40,000 flats and houses across France, where we are supporting energy efficiency investments. And in Italy, where we are supporting investment in a mid-sized steel producer, resulting in more competitive and efficient production. These and many projects like them are creating new jobs and making European industry more competitive. For more information on the EFSI, you can visit these websites and follow the links for Investment Plan Europe.